Hello guys, and welcome to episode 5 of the Packers Franchise Mode on Madden 2017. First of all, I'd like to apologize for the, the choppiness and lagginess of the video prior on the Super Bowl. It looked great on OBS on my side. It was hot in this room, and my old clunker computer was stuttering. I didn't notice it. I should have... I don't know what I should have done, but... It's not good, so I need to fix the cooling issues on it. It is an eight-year-old computer, and it sucks. With that being said, let's get started on ending the season. I like how in Madden they show the off-season being part of the previous season. You would think as soon as the Super Bowl ends, that's it. That's the end of the season, and then the new season starts, but they have it the opposite way. So the off season will be part of 2016. We have one new injury to, to look at. Let's see what we got here. It is, uh, I don't know which one, Richard Rogers, a nine week injury. That's okay, because the season's over and uh, we don't plan on playing for a little bit. Let's go and look at the statistics of the Super Bowl, which again, I, I apologize for being choppy. I, I realize what I need to do now and uh, make some changes. Oops. Oh, it just, just pains me to look at these stats for the quarterbacks here. Look at that Aaron Rodgers, four touchdowns, one interception, which cost them the game. I mean, it did, but 453 yards of passer rating of 131, way better than Tom Brady. Um, just, you know, a 79% completion rating. Aaron Rodgers balled out big time. Here's the problem. With Garrett Blunt, 109 yards, 5.2 yards a carry. Deion Lewis, 4.3 yards a carry. They just, Packers defense just could not stop the run. And they just kept getting first downs and, and just, you know, chewed their way through in the game. Tyreek Hill, can you believe this? If this guy's ever going to be good in real life. Let's see what we got here. Tyreek Hill, 120 yards. Randall Cobb, Jordy Nelson, three Packers right on top. Like I said, Aaron Rodgers, he just played phenomenal. But just wasn't enough against Tom Brady on that Patriot Magic defense. Let's just look at the Packers defense. Nick Perry. Ha ha, Clint Dix. Demaris Randall, that's two secondary players that are leading your tackles. That's never a good sign. It just shouldn't be. You should have your linebackers dominating the. dominating that stat. Uh, two sacks, one from Julius, one from Mike Daniels. And uh, Mr. Brady didn't throw any interceptions, kind of like he did in the regular season. So, you know, it was a great game. The Packers lost by two. Didn't expect him with a first-year coach of firing Mike McCarthy to get that far, to, to do that well, which was amazing in itself. So let's take a look at our coach and see how he did. Nope. Says so coaching goal is not available. Hmm. So I guess I can't really do that right now. Um, I was going to see how Mr. Patterson did on his his um, re-signed staff. Oh, practice squad players were signed. Gonna have to update my spreadsheet with that and re-sign my staff. Says that I need to. Yeah, they're good. All right, well, this Craig Patterson make offer. I thought I did this last year. Huh. So, he, will, he wants a three-year, $3 million deal. Oh, he's making it to the Super Bowl? We are totally, totally okay with that. That's 140 k over three years? Sure. This guy wants 100 k over three years? Yep. Okay, I didn't uh, didn't expect that, but we will see if they want to continue 
to coach the Green Bay Packers. I really hope so, because I don't want to hire Mike McCarthy back. I'm glad that's over. Glad Ted Thompson's gone. Glad Don Capers is gone. Also, today today was the Packers um, draft in real life, and they picked up uh, what I hope to be a really good cornerback. So, I'm going to take a little pause here and come back in a second. I just want to update some stuff, and we'll move on to the next week, which starts the off season. And this right here is a spreadsheet that I'm keeping that I'm going to track every year that, for the GM purposes of who came, who went, who got signed, what I signed, when they retired, um, everything like that, awards for the year that each player gets. I just want to see how it looks as the, the years progress on. Is there a time period that the Packers regress into the 70s Packers, or do they stay the 90s and 2010 you know, 2010 Packers, the entire time we went to the Super Bowl with a new head coach. You know, are we playoff contenders every year? Am I doing a good job as the GM? You know, am I letting players go that shouldn't be let go? It should be interesting when the players become less personal and start being, you know, the computer-made players because, you know, I, I have a lot of attachment as a, as a big Packer fan to a lot of these players that some of them have been released already in, in the frustration of being a Packer fan, like, you know, Josh Sitton and, and TJ Lang, for example. I mean, they're they're phenomenal. You should have just a little bit longer. How they handled Jordy Nelson, you know? Or am I going to do the same thing when Jordy Nelson is, you know, $50 million a year? That's an exaggeration, but he's an 82 overall, you know? I'm going to be like, oh, well, it's time for a move on with Jordy Nelson, you know? And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. I'm saying you know a lot. Of, sorry about that. But And here is our lowest rated pro bowler, Devontae Adams, who missed the Super Bowl. Um, so at a 76, he's a, he made it to the pro bowl. And now here comes the big, the big, big press of the button. We're going to advance to the off season. See you next week. Yeah, it's a shame that uh, couldn't have gone out with a Super Bowl win, but a two-point loss is still a loss. But at least it wasn't the Seahawks. So, got that. Nine players ready to negotiate their contracts. And this is interesting. Last chance. Okay, we're going to just go. I think I'm going to offer him a contract. Like a two or three year contract. I think he's a good corner. I am not offering him anything. I would like to bring him back for another year. Brett Hunley's going to be a free agent, huh? No, oh, I didn't know that. I'll have to think about that one. Brett Hundley didn't play so well last year. He just wants too much money. A 73 for $20 million. J. Ron Elliott is one of my favorite Packers, but I think it's time for us to move on. This guy never... Just, nope. 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 Yes, we're going to bring him back, because one day he'll be a good player. Nope. Nope. Yes. So those are the people that we're going to be offering contracts to. Let's see what else we had here on here. That was kind of making me a little dizzy. Nope. So it's just advanced to the next stage. So here we go. We're advancing to the next stage. Okay, let's sign free agents. Everybody's gone. Look, there's no fullback on the team. Uh, does it show? Oh, it's always... Yep, Julius Pepper's retired. I guess you can see that in the transactions. 
Oops, wrong way. Let's go to Packers. Yep, Julius Peppers, the only one that retired. The first playthrough, he did not retire, but now he retired. So, now he's a big gap, big gap in our defensive line. Let's take a look here. Defense. Yeah, a 66. We have a D now in our defensive line. Um, I guess we can move Dante Jones over there. And that would make it a 78, which is just a C. Or we can make Clay Matthews into a left end and let him rush the passer like he should be doing. Which I'm thinking that's what we're going to do, you know? So. There's a lot of this this the thin team right now. Of course I think it doesn't actually show all the players that um are available. Sign free agents. Ooh, how much money did they say we had? Salary cap? Seven point three million dollars. Oh man. Vincent Wolfark is definitely out of the hill question. Let's see, let's, let's look at these top players, the top 100. Uh, an 86 overall, big old defensive tackle. A strong safety I've never heard of. Right guard I've never heard of. I've heard of him, Eugene Moore. Fullback. A kicker. Ryan Fitzpatrick is an 80 overall. That's amazing. Brandon E. Bain. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's uh, he might go to Chicago. Blair Walsh and no, oh, thank you, no, oh, thank you. If if Minnesota and Seattle hasn't learned their lesson yet, no, thank you. Look, Jared Cook's back. Oh, it looks like the Bears are trying to pick him up. Hmm. We have other pressing issues. And now we're in the 79s, but we'll just go down this line real quick, too. Uh, what is this? This is a right guard. AJ Hawk. He wants, uh, what, one year, $5 million? Yep, so, uh, as you can see, not so many good players, but there are some options. Wow, look at that. Janoris Jenkins. Let's look at punters. We got a 78 punter. And Jacob Schwamm was a 76. Hmm. Okay, got some decisions to make. I'll be back. All right, I found Tyreek Hill. He wants a one year, $2 million deal. So we're going to offer him a four year. I don't know. Something like that. Let's see what is that? Gives us eight eighty seven points. That's, that's uh Oh, I guess can I change it? Eighty points? So it was a f yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm, I'm kind of new to the whole, uh, this aspect of it. So we're going to offer him this offer right here. Probably could have gotten for a lot less, but, you know, let's be real. Would appear that some people have decided that Brandon Boykin is a worthy pickup. So... That's kind of unfortunate. No, I think he's he's out of my price range. I just I just cannot afford to sign him. So we're going to skip him and head off to the fullbacks. John Coon. One year, one point five six million dollar deal.
give him a little uh, excess signing bonus here. So we get the 1.56 because I am a fair GM. 97 points. That's way too high, but you know what? It's okay. These are my fan favorites. They're the ones that mean a lot to me. And Brandon Boykin's out of, the, out of the question. So we are going to advance to the next stage. Let's do it. Advancing to the next week. Did you know the Packers were in the Super Bowl last year? And they lost by two points to the Patriots. It was super, super sad. All right, look at this. Accepted, accepted, accepted. So there we go. We got we got our we got our three players we wanted. Um, we're gonna put them in the 2017 accepted contract spreadsheet. All right. Here's the sad part. Got to go over uh, the regression stats. Our team is an older team, so there's gonna be some point loss. We have James Starks here losing 31 points because he missed his level three goal. Jordy Nelson losing 30 points because he missed his level four goal. And he's getting older. Aaron Rodgers 17 points because he's getting older. No, that's uh, Clay Matthews. It's getting 17 points because he's getting older. Uh, Clay Math, Aaron Rodgers getting older. I never really liked this player, but. And I might cut him to save some money, but he's getting older. Sam Shields, his his speed went down too. That really stinks because he uh, that's what makes him so great because he's kind of a not very tall. Morgan Burnett getting older, lost a little, little injury issues, jumping, getting older, lost a lot of points for yards. Let's see, Josh Sitton definitely getting older. Um, Still pretty solid in a 90. Mason Crosby's getting older. Uh, none of those really matter for a kicker. Just saying. KJ Lang's getting older. A couple of points down in, in some of his stats. Still a 93. Chris Banjo uh, missed his level 2 goal, so he got a couple points down. Pay recognition for him went down. Zone coverage. Monte Adams had run drop. These one pointers are no big deal. It's the big ones are over here. Now you're all super dizzy. James Starks doesn't really matter. Jordy Nelson, Clay Matthews, Aaron Rodgers. Those three right there. If we move the Clay if we move Clay Matthews to left end, he drops down to an eighty seven versus a ninety linebacker. And then we have a really weak linebacking core. So we have to decide Maybe we'll experiment a little bit with Clay Matthews playing left to end to see if he can get some good sacks in. If he can't, then move him back to linebacker. But that is the goal right now, or the plan at least. So I think I need to get a one-year rental on a corner. And uh, I'm looking at these top uh, 76 people because they're one-year rentals. They're not going to really change much, and I don't really... I only have 3.9 million in cap room, so I think I think this is Lamarcus Webb. Uh, you cannot check their player card. I I can't figure out a way to do it, so I can't uh, look them up. But I think Lamarcus Webb here. I think this is who it is. This is Brandon Flowers and Byron Maxwell, Antonio Camardi. Oh uh, man. Brandon Fletcher. So let's uh I wish I knew if they were fast or not. I'm gonna go We're gonna go with Byron Maxwell from the Legion of Boom and uh, sign him to a one year deal. Make it a little Oh, I can't do that. I can't afford it, huh? Oh, yeah. It's, look, I have zero cap room. This is the best I can do. Now, $10,000 cap room. There we go. I'm going to have to cut someone to make some cap room. 
All right, scouting players. I'm going to take that, do that off camera, and uh, see if we can get Byron Maxwell. Don't mind. I'm not going to scout off camera because we now have the combine grades, and we know that we're picking 31st, and we have no extra picks in any of the rounds. So that kind of makes us 60, you know, 31, 62, 93, blah 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 blah. So we can kind of figure out where we're going to draft in those rounds. So I'm going to take a look at players that I could actually get and uh, come back there. All right, here's a quick look at our board. We have several. Oh, this is the scouted. That's not what I wanted. The watched. So this is my board. I got um, 35 players on it and two or more punters because I'm taking a punter. All right. Bye. Oh, one last thing about the draft. Next draft, we're going to do the rule of not being able to select all the way across. So we want to be able to see what the real projected round is, only what the draft board round is. So we'll have to go off of combine scores and the first two skills. I think, I think I'm going to allow myself three or five players where I can scout them completely out. Um, but probably no more than that. Probably We'll probably just try three in the first one just to see how it works and how terrible the draft is compared to the other draft. But that being said, I might not be so good at drafting in the first place, so we'll see how it works because there might be a chance that even this draft is terrible with these scouted players. And uh, that's another thing we'll track to see how if my drafting improves as I play over the course of the game or if it's really hard and just random when I take away the fact you can't draft all, or scout all the way. That should be pretty exciting. But for now, the draft is going to be a normal standard draft. And it looks like we got a new cornerback from the Legion of the Boom. Legion of Boom is Byron Maxwell. Welcome to the team, Byron. Oh, and look at this, a trade off offer for Quentin Rollins, who moved to safety. Let's see what, what on the defense, he is my 80 overall back. Ooh, wow, that is not what I wanted. He is Morgan Burnett's backup at an 80. Now uh, let's see what they want for him. Let's review the offers. Oh, heck no, not even close. A third round, a sixth round, and a seventh round. No. No. It's now better than Demarius Randall. So you know what we're doing? We're gonna we're gonna take you off the trade block. Let's take a quick look at the remaining free agents, even though I have ten K in cap room, so I can't afford nothing. I got lots of money. We're gonna upgrade the stadium, but Blair Walsh is the top-rated free agent, fullback. Rissard Dennings, one-year rental, one-year rental on him, kicker. So there you go. That's uh, a lot of punters and kickers. Oh wow, Vernon Davis is not on the team. Owen Daniels, that's Neon Hall, Ataba Rubin, Zach Stacy. Jordan Babineau. I think that's Jordan Babineau. Trent Cole. Kind of fun to go over these because I haven't seen these people in a long time. Alan Branch. Chad Greenway. Our punter from last year. We're going to draft a punter this year. Okay, there you go. There's two punters in the draft. I hope I can pick one of them. All right, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, leave comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me how much, you know, anything. It doesn't matter. Just let me know what you think and, and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Bye.